Welcome back. We have the the final final girl feature film for you today. This is Panic at Station 2891. Uh, obviously heavily inspired by The Thing, but of course legally distinct. And we have The Organism is the name of the killer. This is going to be nasty. This one is just plain mean. So let's let's jump right in here. We're going to take Kate in. Kate only needs to rescue, uh, or only has four hit points, but needs to rescue six victims or save six victims. And that's extra hard because we know that on this particular location, there's only one exit space that not only... Not only is there just one, but it takes time to even get there. So this is going to be nasty, I'm sure. I do not anticipate a, um, a, 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 a like sweeping victory for me, but if anything, this is going to come down to like nail-biting here, I think. So let's look at our stuff. We have the old revolver, a first aid kit, and Thule, the doggy. That's pretty cool. All right, when an enemy enters your space, deal damage to it. The next time you would take damage, or you take damage, ignore it and discard this card instead. That's so sad. I don't want to lose the dog. <laughs> all right, so we have, that's right, test kits in this. Now I set this all up so that I wouldn't f screw up the setup of this because it is a little weird. We have to have the, um, it's it's not like a, it's like, it's like a snow cat. I can't remember what they call it, the ski dozer. You can choose to put it here or here. I just threw it over here. Uh, you have to put this on the board. This is your little helicopter token so you can keep track of, of where it is in the world. You need to have these randomly divided up. Now these guys are called... Expo yeah, exposed victims. So they have a very particular name. And this is such a weird one to play because they are considered victims. Okay, with the following exceptions. They will panic every panic phase no matter what. And to assist with that, I recruited some help of friends. We have <laughs> these dice to match up the colors of these meeples, and I think that that's going to help save us a lot of time while we're playing here. I guess I need to draw a setup card. I can't just make this up. A nice stew. So I'll tell you what, I remember... Oh, that's right, they have to be, like, random. I remember uh, that there's one of these cards... One of uh, one of the event cards is something about a cook, so maybe we can we can get we can get that going here. The lab, and I guess you're outside. Okay, well there we go. I, I didn't really know what to do. You're supposed to put these guys out randomly, so I just kind of threw them out there. Let's put two in the rec room, two victims in the hallway, and remember the game does the actual manual for this uh, particular feature film does mention that for this skinny hallway and this skinny hallway, you should use those little cards that came in the core box. I should probably heed their warning because these were play tested by people who know what they're doing, uh, but I'm not going to because it's over there somewhere and I don't want to get up and go get it. So <laughs> we're just gonna we're gonna do it live here. All right, is that it? Is that all we have for for fresh meat? Oh, two in the hall in the other hallway. Okay. All right, let's lay some of these people down here. These are very difficult to see. Some of these numbers. All right, there we are. The rec room, you can only get out on a four to six, huh? That's up here. You're stuck in there. Here's our one victim here, one victim here, two in each of the hallways, two here, here, and the lab. The lab is a good place to have a guy to start, actually, now that I think about it, uh, because I just want to give a quick check here. These test kits, you know, you can only use them one time and you get rid of them. But in the lab, if you're in there with a victim, which, you know, remember, these guys are considered victims for now, uh, you can just test them for free without having to spend an item. So I think that's a fantastic setup for the start, actually. Hidden weapons cache. Shuffle the armory tokens and place one face down in each of the four outdoor spaces, excluding the exit space. So I've had these tokens just chilling over here. There are four of them, and so that we know what we're looking at, because I don't have any idea, there is one of them has a, a handgun symbol on it. So let's, let's, oh, I know, I feel like if you can't see it, there's, there's questionable stuff at work here, right? So I want to make sure that that never happens. I'm a fan of the being surprised and randomness in games. It's like, to me, exploration. You know, I like, I like uh, discovering you know, as things come out. So what did it say? Just every space except for the helicopter spot? Okay. So there we go. Um, if you move onto one of these spaces, reveal the token so it doesn't cost any time or anything. It just says if I move into one of these spaces, so I can even be passing through, it sounds like. That's an important distinction in this game. If the token has an X on it, discard it with no effect. If the token has a gun, this is the armory, this space may now be searched. 
take all the weapon cards from the unused item cards and shuffle them to create an armory item deck. Do not flip the top card. So just off camera here, we have this many. There's a good number of item cards that didn't get used in, in this particular location. So we have uh, the potential. And, and was, wasn't there a lot of weapons in there? When we, when we looked at this, like in the overview here, there was a lot of weapons. I remember thinking to myself, "There's a, well, yeah, I mean, look, we got an old revolver out here already, which is not my favorite weapon. It's a, it's a good weapon to have in the game, but, you know, don't get me wrong. It serves its purpose. It's just not my favorite weapon. I want something mean. I want, like, a, a two-handed axe or, you know, a flamethrower or something. <laughs> so before we get started here, let's just take a look at the Board Game Geek page just so that we all know what we're looking at. This is Final Girl Panic at Station 2891. Um, and again, if you didn't pick up on it, 1982 is the year The Thing came out. So good job on that. I love all the little stuff they've squeezed in these games or in these feature films. Okay, I think we're ready to go. And let's see. Oh, the other thing I wanted to be sure to point out to mention is we do start with a two-way radio. This has four uses on it, and you can use it to move a victim one space at the cost of one time, but it may not be used on the same victim more than once in a single turn, which is fantastic because we can just radio somebody, hey, you know, get, get down to the helicopter or whatever, or get out of the lab or, you know, what have you. So speaking of the lab, we are one, two, three, four, let's see, one, two, three. We are three spaces away from the lab, and I'm going to tell you that the key to this scenario, this little setup that we have here, 100% is to to get, what do they call them? Uh, they have a very specific phrase for them, mutated organisms, right? So the the key here is to have at least one mutated organism as soon as you possibly can. Because remember, we looked at these terror cards and they are horrible if you don't know who the killers are yet. Um, it's things like instantly increasing your horror by two or, or something like that. So I think that that needs to be priority number one. How funny, part of me wanted to just grab these and just roll with those because I like the size. They're, they fit just a little bit better in my hands than these giant 19 millimeters. Those are 16 millimeter dice, but they will serve us of course, bad rolls to begin with, again. All right. So, weak attack, short rest is gonna go down. I almost feel like I should get rid of the focuses to move, but we do have another walk, so we'll see where that takes us. So minus one time, we'll move one space out of, we didn't get the cook like I wanted. <laughs> All right, let's try, cause that'd be pretty sweet. The cook reduced horror and healed us, if I remember right. Oh man, that's awful. So a three and a two, do I move into the hallway anyway? Man, I can't make it, I can't make it all the way. Well, let's do it. Oh, God, we have so few hit points. All right, let's take one damage, move up to one space, and it's going to cost us two time. That's our fail condition on walk. But you know what? I like the idea of being able to move one space. And why not? Why not? Oh, no. I've made this mistake before. Trying to rescue people without knowing your, your killer is out there is, is a horrible idea. So I'm going to go up into this hallway. Okay, so we came into this long hallway, and now we've moved into this long hallway. We need to get either A, into the supply closet, and get test kits. Oh, I guess I can move down here, and I'm close to a test kit. And there is a guy there. Well, we're going to stay with this, I think. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not the best plan, but it is a plan. Okay, so then this game gets a little weird, right? So let's go ahead and spend our, our, our big three points here. Let's use, let's buy a sprint and a close call. Not much going on yet. We don't have a lot of points to spend a lot of time. Now, in this game, remember, when we're looking at the rules here, they are considered victims. So they do not have a, if you look at the top here, they don't have a killer phase, you know, thing to do during the killer phase. So we don't know who's, who's killing who just yet. What they do perform is the terror card action. If there are no victims in play, okay. Panic, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Panic all victims that are indoors. Then move all victims from each hallway to the rec room. Oh dear me, and then they get slaughtered. Now remember, they're considered victims, so everybody's gonna panic here. So let's just start with, with I guess, here, wait, everybody indoors? Is that what that said? Panic all victims that are indoors. Okay, so these guys are way out here. We have a two and a six. There's the successes I need. So into a hallway, outside. Fabulous. Okay, then these two people in the hallway are two and three. Now these are so hard to see. So two is up here, and three is into the lab. 
This person up here, five, you are gonna go out in the hallway. Then there's two in this hallway, three and five. So they are going five in here, oh no, three in there, I'm sorry, and five into the rec room. And then there's there was two people in the rec room already. And they're gonna wind up in the in the hallway at best anyway, right? Five and three, uh, right? So one would wind up back up back in the hallway. Then remember, the bat these these colored meeples are considered. Um, so wait a second here. Just in which one's indoors? In main building, outdoor spaces. All spaces not in the main building, including the commander's hut. So indoor spaces. Main building, all indoor spaces not including, this is the main building. Outdoor spaces, all spaces not in the main building, including the hut and the tool shed. So technically that red guy is outside, so they're not gonna panic. So black and gray are three and one. So one for black is gonna uh, put him in the hallway and three for gray is going to keep them right there because it's only four, five, and six to get out of the lab. So that's good. Okay, so this is, yeah, see how much work that was? Okay, so now panic all victims that are indoors, then move all victims from each hallway to the rec room. So that's that's a lot of people all of, all of a sudden now. Oh man, that's such a bummer. <laughs> hanging out in one space. Now, we do not have a killer, so the killer action is gonna go unperformed here. However, we're about to get hit with frostbite, which is a real shame. So this guy and this guy get hit with frostbite, and the, the helicopter's not going anywhere yet, so it's not going to move. So, whew, that was quite a, quite a bit. Let's go back to the turn summary, okay? So that was the terror card part of killer phase. So on to the panic phase now. And remember, all of them panic all the time. According to this, down here, like right there, it says um, they always panic during the panic phase, even if no victims were killed. So we have to remember to do that, and that's why I've employed these colorful dice to help me. It's, it's amazing, I have this color of dice laying around, right? They're like, like everything I own are, are these colors. <laughs> okay, so black is a five, so they're gonna come out of the rec room into the hallway, that's good. Three, uh, Gray is gonna go four, which is a bummer because I wanted to keep him in there and now they're in the radio room and uh, three keeps the red one in the commander's hut. Okay, so that's panic phase. All right, where do we go after that? Upkeep phase, we don't really have anything to do here. I have no items to rearrange and I do not have um, a lack of terror cards to flip over a, um, God, this is such a bummer. I wanted that guy in the lab so badly. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead now. So now we have to change plans a little bit. What are we gonna do? Do we do we attempt to make it all the way to, this, to the supply closet? Or do we just hang out in the laboratory? Or do we just not care? Do we just stay in the hallway for now since anything could happen and go anywhere? And we don't have enough cards to actually make anything useful happen here. Even if I could get to the supply closet, I can't search until next round. If I hang out in the lab, I can't test anybody until somebody moves into there, and that's just such a gamble anyway. I kind of feel like we should just use our focus tokens, or focus cards, and see if we can't bring down the horror, which, of course, let me tell you, it's been this, this way for a while. I don't know what has happened, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I have played five games between my last video and this video, and I can't roll a success anymore. I don't know what happened. It's like my dice just decided to get chipped or something in some sort of way where I can't roll successes. It is bizarre. And I don't know, it's very disheartening, <laughs> let me tell you. So there is one whole success. So that's gonna cost us one time and lower the horror by one. Not a great turn, not a lot to do. All I have is a sprint and I just, I just, I only get one point. So I guess we're taking close call. We'll take our free cards back. We'll put focus, focus back and close call. So we are back to the killer phase where they don't have any steps yet. So we pull a terror card and here we go. See something like this. If there are no mutated organisms in play and there's not, right? We only have the exposed victims. We have no mutated ones yet. We raise the bloodlust. And then we get to skip the, the middle section of the card here since there's no killers. And then if a victim was killed, draw and resolve the next terror card. Oh man, okay. So that was actually not so bad, amazingly enough. Then we're gonna panic these guys and now Gray really needs a one, two, or three for me. Hot diggity, I got a three, or a two rather. Okay, so Gray is gonna come back into the lab. Five puts the black one into the, up here it looks like, 
and red four hangs out in the commander set, which is a good place for red to stay because we can run down there. It's a search location, grab a test kit and test red right all at once. But now, assuming we can roll decently on a walk, we can get into the lab and test this this guy. Of course, now we don't have any you know, cards to deal with it if we do find out that they're a bad guy. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Let's start with, um, so that was panic phase, right? So then there's nothing to do for upkeep phase. So it goes back to us. So now we will attempt to just walk one single space. That's all we need is to get into the lab. Good deal. There's one success. I couldn't ask for anything better. Oops, I always forget to reset my time. I'm so bad at that. Okay, so we're going to use our one step and come down here into the lab. Uh, we do have a weak attack card, so it's not like we're completely out of options, I guess, and we could sprint away. So let's go ahead and test this person. Now, just to go over these rules again, because they are a little weird, you can use the test kit or the lab location to test an exposed victim when you're in their space. This is a free action and does not cost time. Okay, or simply bring them to the lab. Oh yeah, I guess I could have, like, brought them to the lab. They will follow you, I guess, right? It does say bring them to the lab. It doesn't say they can't, they won't follow you. It just says... Um, they, they can't be saved is all, which is a real bummer. Although that'd make for a heck of a, of a thing, right? You put them on the airplane or the helicopter and they go out and kill people that you've already rescued. Like if they somehow get there, <laughs> oh God, like if they're on the space, when you decide to, to, uh, no, oh, that'd be wild. Like if you, if you had the helicopter and, and decided to move it to the card and yet the card was still at Arctic station 2891 and they somehow moved into that space, they would automatically like, you know, grab onto the bottom of the helicopter. And then, and then once it hit the airport, it would just kill all your people. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be messed up. Okay. So anyway, so there's three test result cards, two of which say safe, one of which says infected or something or assimilated or whatever. So this is safe. Okay. So this, this card uh, is safe. So we know that the gray guy is out of the game now. We can take the gray die out and we can put in a rescuable meeple, replace the exposed victim with a normal victim, and remove this card from the game. And this is how the game, you know, ensures that one organism is out there somewhere, right? Because you're going to run out of cards. There's only three and you remove the safe card. So that's gone now, right? This is out of the game. So the next person is going to have a 50-50 shot. So, and we have zero test kits. Yay us. Okay, so let's go. Oh, dear. One, two, three spaces could get me outside. I kind of want to think about saving these people now, but what a horrible situation to be in where I need two successes on a sprint to get anywhere. I need to be able to get up into this supply closet to search again. So let's just see what happens. Do I have any rerolls? I do. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Short attack. I mean, short attack. How many times have I said this? The 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 the, the weak rest and the, the, the short attack. All right, we're gonna dump those two for two successes. We'll roll that over here. Where are we going? First thing we have to do is spend our time. So let's just get that out of the way. Now, three spaces. Do I go to the supply closet? It is so unbelievably tempting to do so. I do feel like. I mean, we have to have a test kit, right? That's the name of the game. So I'm going to go one space into the hallway and take these two people with me, and then two and three, right? So I came out of the lab for one. I'm going to leave them in the hall, two to, to here, um, and then three. I mean, I might as well take this guy with me, and three to that space over there. So now we are in the supply closet. I'm not going to walk out. I'm going to sit right here. I am... Oh, man. Man. I am going to spend one time to use my two-way radio to tell this guy this is such a bad idea. Well, maybe not. Maybe not, because I'm, I'm worried they're going to die. Maybe I'm worried they're going to die. Maybe we tell this guy to move. No, see, I want to be able to move them both. I want to be able to move them both. So we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to move this guy from here to there by way of the radio. We have 3 points less left. I'm going to take a search and a close call. We'll take our free cards back. We'll go ahead and reset time to 6. We remembered we have a bunch of free stuff to put back. And then we go on to the killer phase, which is going to be just flip a card. Oh no. See, if there are no Oh, and sprint would be down here. Uh, if there are no mutated organisms in play, plus one horror. Ah, oh, man. And discard a random action card. Oh, no. If I discard search, 
you're gonna get to watch a table flip, which is gonna be weird because the camera's sitting on the table, so you're probably gonna just wind up looking at uh, uh, the ceiling or something here. <laughs> Search, there it is, of course it is, of course it is. I mean, what else would it be? What else would happen? What else would happen? Wow, wow, okay, great. So that's gonna cost us an entire other turn. This is, this is awful. Okay, so killer phase is done. We're gonna panic these two jokers. Three and six, huh? What do we got here? Three puts this guy, one, two, three over there, and six, you're just gonna hang out right there. Now, we move, I can't believe that just happened. I mean, we have to waste an entire turn now. I can't believe that happened. And it's not for, for lack of us, you know, not getting stuff done. I guess on the upside, they, these two people out here didn't freeze to death. So if you remember here, frostbite. The frostbite icon means anybody outside, um, and each enemy in an outdoor space gains a frostbite token or lose one health if they already have frostbite, right? So you have to draw another frostbite card for it to, to, to kill them, right? It doesn't just happen during upkeep. Upkeep only is to discard frostbite tokens if you're indoors. And there is, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, there's, a, there's an official FAQ for this game out there, and I wish I would have known this a long time ago, uh, but I only recently found out about it, and it does clarify a lot here. If you look at the very bottom, uh, it actually cleanly explains, you know, that, that, that Frostbite is being done wrong by a lot of people. It also, since this is up, I'm going to bring it up right now. Can victims in the exit space be placed on the helicopter card without the final girl being present? Yes, they just have to be there. Okay, so that's great news. All right, so what did we do? We panicked. We're going to do upkeep. There's nothing here. So it goes back to us where we're just going to stand here and do nothing, I guess. I mean, I guess that's where focus cards come into play, right? Let's see what we can do here. Focus, we have, oh my goodness, two successes on a focus. Whew. The dice have smiled upon me today. Let's see what else we got here. Oh man, that is unbelievably tempting. Unbelievably tempting because we can buy better cards than, than walk and close call, I think. And, and, and oh, I mean, close call, I mean, you can't buy a better card than that, but it's only one point. So I think I'm gonna do it. I think we're doing it, all right? So two successes again, because that gives us more time. Oh, that's good. Maybe, maybe, maybe the curse has been broken. Honestly, you have no idea <laughs> how bad it has been the last five games. Okay, those are the first stars I've seen in three days, I think. <laughs> Honestly, it's unbelievable. Um, I was very disheartened, so that's that's why we we're missing some videos. It was it was it was ugly. All right, so I have no more cards. So let's do this now. Let's let's spend. Ooh, you know what? I'm, oh, wow, that's a bummer. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spend two time and use my two-way radio twice to move these two people onto the helicopter and I'm going to take them out. We're going to put them on the helicopter. We're gonna let the helicopter go because I don't think we're anywhere near it and, and you know what, we may as well get that party started. So we still have eight points because we had two successful focuses. So we absolutely have to take a search, which is going to go hand in hand with this guy. Uh, so the search is two points, and we still have, ooh, we can take a weak attack, a short rest, and a walk, so we can move a little bit. Key thing here, we'll be getting more dice. Do we spend all of our points on this? <laughs> There's a lot of people hanging out in the rec room. <laughs> I think that's what we do. So we have four, five, six, seven cards. Uh, the two distractions cost us our six points, so that's us done. We're going to move on to the killer phase. We have... Hey, they just left. If there are no victims in play, discard this card. Remove one normal victim from the game, choosing one in an outdoor space if possible, and then increase bloodlust. So, I, I mean, do we, just, do we just remove somebody from the hallway here, right? Why not? Okay, plus one bloodlust, and then what does it say? Oh man, what luck! Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna frostbite nobody, but then we're gonna move forward on the helicopter here, which is in the air now, thanks to our little our card. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Oh, I never put these back because of course I didn't. All right, so that was killer phase. Now they get to panic during the panic phase. Oh, finally outside, now that you're not gonna get frostbite red, and three is gonna come, uh-oh, into the hallway. All right, so that's it for that. We go to upkeep phase, we have nothing to do. <sighs> Woo-saw, right? We need some good rolls here. Let's do a, I mean, here it is. Oh, no, 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 no. We planned for this, right? All we need is a, is a real good distraction. A real good distraction, come on. Really good, really good. <sighs> That's not really good. Uh, I 
Guess we're gonna dump two points. Come on, I need two successes. Dang it! <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right, weak attack and short rest going down for one success on a distraction is minus one horror plus one time. I have to do it again, and I absolutely must succeed. I need a star. Holy smokes. So this is brutal because I have the two cards, but like, I need to, no, I need to just fail it. I need to just fail it. So let's go, let's do this. Let's go minus one. Uh, or minus one whore, minus four time, right? That'll put us at one. That is awful. But it gets us a third die, and we're going to walk. Or, I mean, search. Successes, please. Wow, three successes. You couldn't have spread those out? All right, <laughs> okay. So that's going to cost us our final time, and we get to draw a test kit. And then we get to draw the old revolver and the top card. That is where I am, right? Supply closet, yeah. Okay. Oh, and the other dog. Are they the ex Oh, man. Oh, man. So they're... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I think we take the dog just because it's cool, right? Uh, I'm going to put the gun on the bottom. Only because it's probably the weakest weapon here. Like, I would, I would even prefer the knife, I think, over that. Okay, cool. We have a dog now and a test kit. Sweet. All right, so I think, ooh, and I have a walk still, and three dice. Let's see some good stuff. Oh, my word. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is just the way. So if I fail it, we're just going to force end our turn, and I don't think it's worth even moving the one space. I think we're just going to minus two time, force end our turn. We have no points to spend, so we're going to take focus, walk, and focus. Unbelievable. Walk, search, distraction. I mean, even with three dice, I can't, I can't do... I can't even walk. I, I'm telling you, it's weird. Okay, so we are done. We are reset. Now it's time for this bad mojo to happen. Let's see what we have here. Survive at all costs. If there are no mutated organisms, organisms in play, up the bloodlust. If a victim was killed, draw and resolve the next. These are these are better cards than I've been drawing, like in my like other plays of this game here. Like this is working out better for me, so I can't complain. Are they all? Oh no, they're 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 a healthy mix of cards, two and three, of location and killer cards. Okay, interesting. Okay, so now they're gonna panic. Oh man, get into the lab. I don't want to have to drag you in there. Three and six. So three is going to put this guy right back in here. That's three and four. And six, uh-oh, is up here now. That's a bummer. It was a better place for you to be in the hallway than where you are now. Upkeep phase, I've got nothing going on, so let's move on to us. All we can do is we could, uh, walk and focus. So let's just try to let's just try to walk, since that seems to be the most difficult thing in the world. One success on a walk. Oh, yeah. So, if I take one... Well, it's going to go one space. Um, I think I'm okay with getting rid of the two focuses and to walk two spaces. So we'll go one, two. So we're in the hallway with these two people now. I think I'm okay with that. Okay. Mainly because I can end my turn anyway with, with quite a few points for the first time, and it feels like a long time. So let's take... So I don't, I don't know about this... Plain. It doesn't seem to be moving, you know, by itself very quickly because it relies on cards here and only uh, there are, what, eight uh, location cards? So at best, there's, you know, eight minus two cards in here. So there's at best six of them here, and I don't think that's possible that all of those are going to move the, the helicopter for us. So I think we need to take fly faster just so that it happens for us. Now we have four points left. And I'm kind of getting the itch to move a lot. So let's just take two sprints for our four points. We'll end our turn. Man, that was... There's an armory outside, too. So that was good. I didn't even think about it. But taking the dog was definitely better than taking the, 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 the gun. Okay, so killer phase. Uh, someone is destroying the test kits. Discard the test kit from the search location that is closest to you. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, wow, they're, like, equal. So, so, right, because the hallway is, this is, to go from this hallway to that hallway is one, two, three, and then I'm here, one, two, three. So the only fair way to do this is one, two, three is the tool shed, I guess. One, two, that's a three. So the tool shed is going to lose its test kit. Man, 
Boy, am I glad I got one. And then it says, one of the normal victims within two spaces... Oh, within two spaces of the associated search place is killed. There, there is nobody within two spaces of that place. And that's it. Okay, well, not bad. This is, this is going much better than, than, having, than any other attempt at playing this game. All right, so that is uh, that. We'll panic these guys again. Come into the hallway, dude. Okay, so four keeps this guy in here. He can only get out on a one and two. He, she, it, whatever it is. And a five moves this guy over here. That's a bummer. All right. Well, we have a test kit. We can chase him down. So it goes to upkeep. There's nothing to do there. And then it goes back to us. So let's, let's attempt fly faster. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, my God. Please. <laughs> It's unbelievable. All right, weak attack, short rest. The the two workhorses, the horses of the bunch here. Oops, I didn't put walk, focus, and focus back. All right, so one success is going to be minus one time, and the, and the helicopter will move one more space, so we have two rescued victims now. So let us take... Man, do we do move one space? One, two, three. Uh, I guess we do. We go move one space, and we can get into this hallway... And then we take, do we just take a, a guard card, I guess? Okay, we'll take a guard card. So that's, those are our two victims rescued. Now we can still sprint. We can go one, two, three. That's still not enough spaces to get that jerk where I want them, but we do have two sprints. So let's attempt it. There is, believable, only one success on a sprint. Is I mean, it's still two spaces, right? So it's minus one time. We're going to move with these. Oh, I guess we have to leave one in the hallway. So we'll go one and two. And so now <laughs> I'm going to take all these people with these two people with me. And then we're going to try that again. And I just need to get across the hallway now, right? I need to get across the hall to get that person into the lab. All I care about is the one success I see. <laughs> so two successes. So minus one time. We can move three spaces. We're going to go one, two into the lab. We're going to test this person. Oh, and I dumped my... Well, I have a guard card. I was going to say I dumped my weak attack and short rest, though, which, you know, now I'm thinking about it, the hit point might be nice. All right, what do we have? A safe victim. Oh, no. I mean, that's I, not a bad thing, you know, but but I'm afraid of these cards. <laughs> that's the problem. Okay, so we're... Well, we're... This dude hanging out in the commander's hut has been... What's, what's the phrase these days? Has been sus this whole time. Hanging out outside by themselves, went outside, it was too cold, ran back inside. Okay, and we have a test kit. This is going swimmingly. Let's see here. Oh my word, two successes on a walk. So minus one time, and we can move two spaces. Let's go one and... I mean, we may as well hang out by all the people. Two into that big hallway, is that our best bet? One into, into this hallway. I could go here or where I'm at. And this is one, two, three spaces away, one, two, three spaces away. It doesn't matter, we're good. And all we have is a guard, so we're going to end our turn. We're going to take our free cards back, and we have a whole two spaces. And we spent all that time goofing around that we only have two more uh, cards. You know what? I'm taking both close calls, because whatever happens here, I'm probably going to need them because I've been rolling so poorly. <laughs> Okay, sprint, sprint, and I'm, oh, we need to get, we need to get the airplane back, too, the helicopter. I don't know why I insist on calling it an airplane. Um, okay, so we are going to go to their phase. It just absorbed them. If there's no mutated organism in play, panic all exposed victims, which is the only, there's only one now. Four, he stays in there. And increase horror, which is horrible for me. That's my least favorite thing. If a victim was killed, the mutated organism recovers one hit point. Nobody was killed. So that's that for them. Now they're going to panic again. They need a one or a two. Ooh, wow, they come back outside. Okay. And then um, that was it for that. So now let's go over to us at the... Um, that was panic phase. I got nothing to do for upkeep yet, but we're getting there. If we take a look at the stack we've got here, we have three terror cards left, and then I just put the pile of finale cards underneath it. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, dear, and all we have is one walk. Well, the first thing we need to do is focus, because we only get two dice now. Maybe that's the problem, I don't have a dice jail. Ha! All right, look at that. Two and one. Um... I say we walk again. Let's let's yeah let's yeah we need to get to where this Joker is right. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, let's just take the, the punishment. We'll take one damage, two time, and... Uh, unbelievable. And move one space. So we are going to move out here. Oh boy. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to have to stand everybody up. I'm sorry to have to do that to you. I know it makes it harder to see. Uh, but the armory card or token was not it. I should get me some little uh, coin capsules for those. I think they're 19 millimeter. I put mine in 20s and they rattle a little bit. That's all I had. Okay, test kit. I mean, we know it's a bad guy, and I'm, I, I do not want these terror cards to screw me up anymore. So test kit. This guy assimilated. There it is. Reveal the mutated organism and apply the bloodlust effects. Oh, man. Okay, so it's whatever this creepy thing is. So we have, it must, it's this creepy thing on my unsleeved raw card here, which bothers me. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so, oh, well, so maybe that's not awful. These guys are so unpredictable and weird. Okay, so what else does this say? Um, shuffle this back into the test results deck, so whatever, it's going to be our only card. Reveal the mutated organism, apply the bloodlust effects from the bottom to the current bloodlust level. So we have two panics in a row for this guy. So first panic is a one. That sends him over here. Second panic is a six. Oh, you dirty bird. It comes right back. <laughs> and then... Um, it's going to kill a victim, so this guy dies, which raises the bloodlust, which says they panic again. And that's a six, which goes right back to where they were. Oh, man! <laughs> that was, that was, a. Uh... Oh, okay, wait a minute. When an enemy enters your space, deal damage to it. So, I don't feel like when they spawn, was that, was that entering my space? I mean, oh, that's interesting. So, did this guy just take two damage? Oh, by the way, they have to have hit points, right? So, we, they have one of these and four four of these. So now, wait a second, I have to think about this, because when they spawn, is that considering entering my space? So basically, this guy either took one damage or two damage. Um, let's see here. Performing, let's see, mutated organisms are considered killers. Hmm. If a mutated organisms are in play, resolve their actions one at a time, starting with the left, blah, blah, blah. What does it say? Okay, if the victim is assimilated, reveal the rightmost card on the killer board and replace it with the matching mutated organism card. This is now a mutated organism. Place. It doesn't say, like, moved into. The token match the meeple above the card. Oh, that's, well, we know it's the one and only red one. This is still alive, but there it is. Okay. Um, set up the health and final health token as you normally would, then immediately apply all of the bloodlust effects on the card from the lowest level of bloodlust through the current level of bloodlust. It doesn't say if that's technically, like, entering my space. Like, when they just, they, they were already there, and then we just found out, so I'm going to say no, um, but they're still going to take one damage because they came back into our space once we knew they were, they were, you know, a bad guy. Um, Okay. So where are we at here? What happened? We did uh, we did the test kit on them, right? And then oh, that's such a bummer because I don't want to. I guess I can't really do anything. Um, we could roll focus just for fun, I guess, right? I mean, why not? We got three dice. Why not? He says. Okay. Well, we got one success. God, I'd love to have two. Do I? It's not worth getting rid of my close calls. The only reason I'd love to have two is the time bonus. But have we just not spent any time? What happened here? We we did it. We did we did we did a walk. Oh, that's right. We took. We must have took. Oh, we had a successful focus that put us at eight time. We spent two time on a failed walk, and then we just got one success on a focus, and we could have two. And at this point in the game, I feel like maybe that's a good idea for us, right? Oh, I don't have a test kit anymore either, so that goes away. I feel like that's a good idea. Right? Because this thing has... This might actually be, like, the easiest killer there is, right? Um, oh, and when they panicked, they would have moved two spaces. So he actually would have been one, two, one, two. So they would have been further out. So, so now they're way over there, actually. They had two movements, not just one. I, put, I only put them down for, for one movement when they panicked, but that's incorrect. Okay. So, let's see. 
What do we do here? Do we get two two successes on the focus? I think. Oh man, but what do we get rid of? <laughs> That's the question. The reason why I'm, I'm having this dilemma is because I'm I'm struggling to think of how many points I want to have is the main thing, right? Like we can get we can get eight points here, and I I think that that's probably the best bet. I don't like getting rid of a guard. Well, let's just go. But the problem is the close calls are way too useful, right? And I can oh I can't really take much damage, <laughs> so maybe not. Maybe we get rid of the two close calls just to keep this down and plus two time again. And I, I know that seems really weird, but the idea is this. We still have a guard, we still have the dog, we can take back walk, weak attack, and short rest, but now we can take retaliate and two sprints with us. And as much as I would like to move that helicopter, priority now is killing this guy. That's how we win. Victims aren't gonna help us anymore, right? So we're done. So now we will reset to six, we'll put our cards back. I need a little, oh, I do have a little dog meeple. I can see it too, it's it's the one from Tiny Epic Zombies would be perfect to have running around with me. <laughs> okay, so uh, now what's gonna happen is killer phase is the killer panics, this is just what they do. Uh, or this particular guy is gonna panic two spaces to three, so, oh no, that's not right. It'll be one space, right? Boy, I just lost my mind. They're not walking, they're panicking. I'm sorry. Okay, so they're gonna be there and panic to three. I like corrected myself, which was wrong, and then fixed it later if that made any sense. They would have only panicked one space. Okay, so let's go with, um, okay, right, so they were here, they rolled a three for panic, they're gonna go over here, and then let's see here. Uh, that was it, we still don't have the finale out for them, so then they're gonna draw a terror card. If there's no mutated organisms in play, ha! We do have one now, although unfortunately we have whatever's going on here. So, and they do move two spaces. So they will come one, two spaces to me and kill this victim, which raises that up, which takes an event. There's been an accident in the lab, an explosion in the lab. Anyone in the lab immediate, immediately takes a damage, place the whole token over the bottom wall. So basically we can come in and out that way. The lab is now adjacent to the outdoor space. Okay, well that's, that's what it is. Okay, all right, oh, and then there's a second attack, and now he's in my space. Now you're in my house, buddy. All right, so then we're gonna retaliate, and we get three dice on a retaliate. We're only hitting for one, but remember, they took a damage because of the dog. And, ooh, there's, there's one success on a retaliate. Reduces damage by two. Um, and they only do two points of damage, however, I only hit for one, and I really want to hit for two. I mean, I really want to hit for two, because we could end this. So I think we get rid of... <laughs> this is silly. Do we get rid of a sprint and a walk? Like, I mean, we're where we want to be. We need to end this, right? So there's that. So we have two successes. So I do not take damage. They take two damage, and they're down to their final token, which gives us another die roll... I mean, this is the only smart way to do this, right? I don't, I don't like it, <laughs> but it's the only smart way to do this. Now they're gonna panic again to a one, which puts them into this little, into this little room here, puts them in there to a one. Man, and the armory is any one of those places. Oh, oh, I don't have the snowcat keys. I can't use that thing. Okay, so that's it. So pan, uh, upkeep phase. They have oh two terror cards left. I thought there was only one. Okay, so now it's back to me. Oh, and I got oh I have sprint. I was gonna say, oh my god, and I got rid of my only ability to walk. So let's do sprint. We have one success on a sprint. Is going to be minus one time, move two spaces. I'm coming in here with you, buddy. All right, and then again, they didn't move into my space. I moved into their space, so I don't think that counts for the dog, right? Um, and I'm, I guess what we're gonna do is a, no, I, I, I want to heal myself, but I don't think that's right. Let's do... Well, I wouldn't get rid of my guard either. Oh, yeah, I have plenty of time. Oh, but that could end our game. So let's <laughs> let's just try this. Uh, two successes on a weak attack. They are... Dun, 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 dun. Dead! Oh, my God. Honest to God, I have failed this five times in practicing this just to like make sure I had the rules down and then I forget the panic rules of course in the middle of it because the most basic rule there is like in the core rule book and I'm like off somewhere worried about how you know doing this right that was insane okay 
I'm digging it, but I feel kind of bad about these because like I said, I've played this quite a few times trying to get this right because I was so confused on how this all worked. And these cards destroyed me in the other playthroughs. Well, that and the dice. I couldn't roll a success to save my life. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you are at the mercy of the dice. If the dice don't let you do anything, you're not doing anything, no matter no matter what you what you may think. So wow, that's crazy. So let's let's uh oh well they were saved. They don't have to flip things. I'm just curious, like if I grabbed two, ah, uh, one of them would have came back. <laughs> so what about us? Yeah, we had nothing either. We had nothing either. Let's take a look at all oh, what we had here. We had a knife. Oh, there's the ski dozer up here in the supply closet. That would have been cool to see. The first aid kit, the roller skates, there look at that, an axe and a flamethrower out here in the tool shed. And I was, I was, you know, deterred from going there because we lost our test kit. So the other dog at the commander's hut, lucky dice, the list of things in the flare gun. Eh, those dice would have come in handy. But you know what? Once we got this, the horror under control, things shaped up a lot for us. So I'm pretty satisfied. That's pretty okay, right? And we saved a lot of people. People just didn't just fall over dead this time. So I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> so, all right. I guess we are done. Thanks for watching. Remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. We'll see you later.